What do you see? I see trees rustling in the wind. Uh huh. Is it I, daytime or nighttime? It's daytime. Uh -huh. and the winds are very violent. Tell me more. What's up in the sky? Just clouds within a, a round circle of the sky, and then the clouds are forming mm -hmm. around this piece of the sky that I can see. Mm -hmm. Is this forming near you? Yeah. Mm hmm So what happens? What happens with this sky and the winds? I don't know, I feel like I'm supposed to receive something. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what it is. Go to that spot where you're receiving something. What do you receive? Energy. Energy, mm-hmm. How does that energy feel? Overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. What happens to you? It gets too much. Mm -hmm. It feels like my body's convulsing. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I don't feel too good. Mm -hmm. You can Watch this as an observer. You don't have to be in the body. Watch it. Tell me what happens now. I just go back to the house holding my stomach. Mm -hmm. my friends. What happens next? What did that energy do to you? It changed. Mm -hmm. Tell me how it changed you. Downloaded some information that I did not want to receive. Mm hmm. But it had to be me. Mm hmm. What was the information about? Dark times. Dark times. Mm hmm. Tell me more.
Let's access that information now. Allow yourself to access that entire download to be able to receive it and interpret it correctly. Find a comfortable place and allow the words to come out. Beginning with where this download came from. Somewhere off in the universe. Mm -hmm. Why were you chosen? Because I'm able to hold it. Mm -hmm. Able to hold it. To hold coolness and calmness in my body. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what that download said. What is the message? deciphering it. Mm -hmm. Allow it to flow. Aaron will be with you. Keeping you calm and allowing you to let go of any expectations. Allow the information to flow. Open up the vault of information. If you want to, you can even allow those that were giving the messages to help you. Connect with them and allow them to speak the message for you. May I connect with those that downloaded the information? Yeah. Thank you. Would you please tell me what this message was that was downloaded to her? She has a very specific mission to carry. She has a very specific mission to carry? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mission is to bring people together. Her mission is to bring people together? Yeah. Mm hmm What kind of people? All people. Mm hmm What else is in that message? That even though there are dark times ahead. Even though there are dark times ahead. Mm -hmm. People must overcome their fears. People must overcome their fears. Yes. And embrace love. And embrace love. Through 
throughout all the chaos. Throughout all the chaos. Put their differences aside. And put their differences aside. To overcome this darkness. To overcome this darkness. We must work together. We must work together. Can you tell me about these dark times ahead? Are these spiritual, emotional, physical, earth changes? Can you be more specific? They're all of the above. Mm -hmm. Who's causing these dark times? Negative forces. Where are these negative forces? throughout different parts of the universe. Mm -hmm. Why do they want to disturb this planet? This planet has a lot of good to offer and the energy that it holds is useful to allow these dark forces to survive. Mm -hmm. What do they need to survive? The energy of thought. Mm, the energy of thought. Any particular type of energy Mainly fear. Mm -hmm. So what happens when people have fearful thoughts? They feed these forces. Mm. In what way? Giving them more power to influence the earth and, and its creations. Mm -hmm. Does that affect the actual Earth, Gaia? Yes. Nature? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does it affect nature in particular? It sucks it dry. Mm. How is it doing now? She's steady. She's, she's working on balance. Mm -hmm. What about its animals, the beasts of the earth? How are they doing? They're working with the flow of her. Mm -hmm. Are they assisting the humans? In some ways. Mm -hmm. How do they help? by example of the flow of nature and energy. Mm -hmm. In this day and age, can you tell me how the humans are doing as far as this feeding these forces? And most humans function in fear. Mm -hmm. Is this something natural in humans? Only if they embrace it. Okay. How can we change that? Opening the hearts towards love. Practicing love. When you talk about love, 
Can you explain how we can love one another? Through acceptance and open heart. But as humans, we see many things that are happening, many things that are shown to us in the media, things that we hear of atrocities around the world. How can we protect ourselves and not live in this fear when you see so many things happening around the world? To be aware of it, but to not feed it. Mm -hmm. To... be able to overcome it mm -hmm. by what? getting grounded with earth mm -hmm. and respecting her what's the best way to ground with earth there are many ways mm -hmm. the way we use energy mm -hmm. on the planet going to one natural resource is this something that we can do as individuals yes mm -hmm. any advice on that cars you use with gas and fossil fuels mm -hmm. stop using them the way we consume the foods that we consume and the wastefulness mm -hmm. What should be we be eating? Foods grown from plants, mm -hmm. naturally grown. What about those of us who eat animal products? It's okay to eat animals if you respect their lives and don't abuse them there are some of us on the planet who rely on animal as food source mm -hmm. based upon location mm -hmm. but most people eat of animals excessively and unnecessarily mm -hmm. so can you tell me more about these dark forces I've been told that at this time there is a lifting of a, a change of vibration on the earth that is true mm -hmm. I've been told that there is a new earth Yes. Can you explain this to me? The earth is ascending inevitably. And she will carry on with her ascension. And those who vibrate to that will carry on with her onto this new earth mm -hmm. is this new earth a physical earth? not in the way one might think mm -hmm. it's more of an energy it's more of a shift in energy Mm -hmm. and when she shifts will everything shift with her that's on the earth 
everything oh. in her f frequency. In her frequency. So I would think that what, well, I, I was wondering what would happen to all of those that are not in her frequency. What would happen to them? They will be left behind in a sense that they will continue to carry on in their dimension. Mm -hmm. So if I were one of those that was not vibrating at the same frequency as Mother Earth, and she ascended, what, no what would they notice? I don't think that they would notice. Mm -hmm. Would they still see the same people that ascended with the newer? I believe so. Mm -hmm. And the ones on the new <laughs> Earth, would they still be able to be with the ones that stayed behind in the old Earth? In a way, yes. Okay. It's a little difficult for one who lives in the, this dimension to understand how one can ascend and the other part not. It's all in each individual's power. Mm -hmm. Each individual's choice. Mm -hmm. So if you made a choice to ascend with, with Mother Earth and her frequency and wanted all of the ugliness to disappear in your world, would it? Yes, on an energy frequency. Mm, okay. Does this new Earth look any different than the Earth we're on now? It's a lot more beautiful. A lot more beautiful. Okay. More vibrant. Mm -hmm. Would we have the same type of things that we have now? In regards to? For example, cars, houses. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you will have adapted to using more natural resources. Okay. Is this ascension already beginning? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how would we know that we're in that new earth? Some may know, some may not. Mm -hmm. But you would have pretty good understanding based upon your positive energy mm -hmm. that you excrete mm -hmm. out into the universe. Very good. Can you tell me more about now that we've talked about the new earth, how we can help others to protect them from these dark forces? Guarding against any emotions, fear drawn, mm -hmm. any negative thought, any negative action. embrace all of the positivity in the universe. Mm -hmm. Why has it been allowed for all of these dark forces to affect us if this planet is known as a free will planet? Because that is how most grow. Mm. By the contrast? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we can actually be living in contrast, but not embracing what we don't want. Correct. Mm -hmm. So is there a name for this 
energy that we feed these forces? The negative force? Mm -hmm. It's just that. Okay. We just need to be guarded of it. Yes. Okay. These dark forces, are they physical on our planet? Have they taken form? Yes, they have. Mm -hmm. Would we be able to recognize them if we saw them? Maybe not immediately from visualization. Mm -hmm. But you will notice based upon the imprint they leave. Okay. On the earth. Hmm. Can you tell me more about that imprint? What that would mean? Imprint that does not allow things or life to be at their most vibrant. Mm hmm. Do these negative forces that we have now, do they even know who they are? Some do. Mm. Are others just born with these forces already with them? It depends. Mm. I come across many entities in my sessions that seem to be of the dark side, of the dark forces. And when I remind them of the light within them, they remember who they are and they release the negativity. Is this something that is possible on a larger scale? Yes. How can we affect more and more of these entities without having to pick each one out. Seems like with a tweezer through a hypnosis session, how can we affect more of them? I'm not understanding the question. Mm -hmm. During my hypnosis sessions with clients, I find some of these dark forces and we encapsulate them in light and love and send them back to, to source. How can we find more of these without having to go to each client and finding them, affecting them? How can we do it on a larger scale mm -hmm. to help humanity? How can we join forces as humans and bring more light into this darkness? Global meditation. Global it's meditation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Seeing the light in one another and acknowledging that light, mm -hmm. expressing that light, trusting the light. So we really need to embrace everyone with light. Yes. Mm -hmm. And as we do that as a whole, it changes things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there any other message that you wanted to give her about this? What else was in that message for her? She must spread this message amongst humanity and those who she's in contact with. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't know how. Was that her mission? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Aaron told me, her guide, that she would be going to a life that was traumatic for her. 
Is this message traumatic for her? This time, that's how she views it. Mm -hmm. How can we change that for her? How can we release that fear that she has about this message? To trust mm -hmm. her ability and to trust that she is protected and that she has support. Who is supporting her? Guides. Mm -hmm. Do you think she'll buy that? I'm unsure if, if this time she will. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems to me that you brought her here for the ability to spread this message through me. Is that an alternate plan? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else would you like to tell humanity at this time to help us all? No, you must remember where you come from, who you are, and your power. For it is only through this remembrance and applying this knowing that we can make the change for Mother Gaia and through all of the universe. We are powerful beings, gods in amnesia. We all have a unique purpose for the higher good of all life. Thank you very much. You're welcome. May I connect with her higher self now? Thank you. You've given her a very powerful message. Can we continue with her questions or do you feel that she can handle any more today? You may try. Mm hmm how do you see her? Does she have, is she in a good state? She feels very vulnerable. Mm hmm Right now. Mm hmm And anxious. Mm hmm She questions her own abilities. And her power. For she's so far disconnected from it. She must learn how to reconnect. Mm -hmm. That was one of her questions. How can she reconnect? Of embracing all that is good and accepting who she is without guilt or shame in the now and to let go of expectations and holding on to things which don't serve her. Is there anything else that you 
think that I could have asked that I didn't ask today. She may need to come back. Very good. Very good. Wide awake now, feeling wonderful all over. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's all I could say. Let's see. <laughs> How long do you think that you were on this journey? Um, maybe. How does it feel? Don't think. Feel. About an hour and a half. Hmm. Try two and a half hours. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> So, I know that it was really challenging for you to get mm. into this, yeah. but when you did, you really were there. What do you remember of it? Um, I remember a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. You seem to have been very deep in some places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you remember the message that you got? Mm hmm. About love and, and how, you know, these dark forces mm -hmm. can be, um, you know, they, they don't really have any real power other than the power we give them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's and, a really powerful message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, so long as we embrace love and really practice it and apply it to our daily lives and to our encounters with other people throughout humanity, we should be mm -hmm. protected. And, mm -hmm. and the earth can be protected and... Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, is this something that you want to share? We can share the part that's most relevant to everyone. I don't think we need to share the whole thing. Yeah. But that part yeah. is very powerful. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. It was a long message, and I yeah. think uh, they gave a lot of answers. Yeah. When you were in that state, did you feel that it was coming from one or more energies as they were conveying that message to you. How did it feel? It felt like like maybe multiple. Yeah. That's what it felt like to me. Yeah. Did you feel like it was like a team effort? It was yeah. a bunch of them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like like a race of I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like a group of them, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it felt like to me yeah. when I was listening. It wasn't like it was your guide. Mm -mm. And it seems like as soon as you found your spirit guide, mm -hmm. you really took off. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it was great. So let me disconnect you. Okay. And we will take a Two and a half hours? Yeah. So here we are in Miami, Florida. We just had... <laughs> wow, what a session. So where are you from? I'm originally from San Diego, but... I came from Atlanta to be mm -hmm. here. Drove all the way from Atlanta yeah. to be here. And uh, so what do you think about this session? I think it was great. I think there was a lot that was covered. Um, <laughs> yeah. I could, I'm still trying to process some of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As you were going through it, I mean, did you feel that um, you were here, there? What, how did it feel? I felt like I was like working on accepting me being here, but at the same time <laughs> trying to travel there. <laughs> like, well, it was it was it, honestly it was rough going at the beginning. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Even though that part is not going to be in the video because it was just yeah. <laughs> I mean, it took a long time. You know, we yeah. went to the bathroom and everything. <laughs> but but once we once we got into that life mm -hmm. where it seemed to almost it almost seemed to me either a spaceship or a tornado. What yeah, was that? Thing? It was weird. Like but the clouds started thought, started right. moving, and I first thought, oh, maybe maybe it's like a tornado. It's gonna yeah, hit it her and like kill her. Real violent winds. Yeah, and I saw like the tree, like the yeah. like, the tree leaves, like. Blowing really hard. But then it seemed like something hit you. Yeah. Like something, 
like pictures. yeah like even though it's almost like, like a lightning strike right like like all these clouds yeah there's all these clouds and then just in the center it was open sky so do you feel that was some sort of an et you know yeah like UFO right. type of thing? yeah i do and it was like oh yeah then you got sick and then yeah <laughs> download it <laughs> <laughs> and it's like let's decipher what was that so that was that was a good part yeah you know, once that started it was like okay yeah definitely that was cool wow. that was cool so now that you've been through this, you've you really <laughs> waited a long time to be through this. I mean, you should have been here a while ago. That's a hurricane, October, right? Yeah. Hurricane, you couldn't come. No. And now you made it. I finally made it after yeah. five months. I scheduled in July. <laughs> <laughs> And then you were so booked up that your first opening was like in you know, October, and then you heard and it worked out. Cause the weather is beautiful yeah. now. It's nice. It's, it's beautiful. warm. Yeah, it's really. Warm. You have to go back up to cooler weather. Yeah, it's cold up there. I'm not trying. I'm really not <laughs> looking forward to this weather. It's nice. Yeah, I hope we get to go to the beach. Okay, well before. you can do that. You can do that. <laughs> All right, so you recommend this to other people? Yeah. Definitely. So if you want a session with me, you know where to go, albaweinman.com. Book a session. It's very easy, and we keep seeing each other. Yeah. <laughs> give me a hug. Give me a hug. <laughs>